Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac and welcome to another unboxing video. Well, today I've got my hands on a quality German-made vacuum cleaner, a Sibo Airbelt K3 Premium Eco, no less. This is the first Sibo I've tried since the EU regulations came into effect, meaning that all vacuum cleaners manufactured for sale in the EU have to have an energy rating label on them. And this has been stuck on the outside of this box. So it's an A rated for energy because it's only 700 watts. Previous models were 2,100, I believe. So it is 76 decibels, which is quite quiet. Only claims a C rating for dust emissions, a B rating for carpet cleaning, a C rating for hard floor cleaning. So, SIBO claim that this machine is compact and lightweight, high performance 700 watt motor, it has the SIBO ET1 power head, triple micro filter system, ultra bag with four layer micro fiber construction, air belt, soft bumper, exhaust system, electronic power control, integrated professional attachments, free moving with three casters, and the machine is arctic white and dark grey. So, I used to have one of these machines, but it was an earlier model, it had an 1800 watt motor and it had the previous power head. The power head that's supplied with this is the same as my D4 Premium and it's also the same as the power head that's supplied with the Sibo Felix Upright. So here's the machine, again here's the energy sticker. I expect that's put in in case this is opened by a retailer who wants to display it. That can actually be stuck to the machine. Put that to one side. Right, first thing we'll get out is the hose. I think they're quite a nice length of hose, I believe, but don't quote me until I've checked. I think they're 2.1 metre of hose. I think some of the SIBO K series, the lower end models without powerhead, have a 1.8 metre hose. Some very cheap vacuums have a 1.5 metre, so I think this is 2.1. It certainly looks longer. Anyway, this hose carries electrical conductors because it does have a remote control. It also carries power to the power driven head. So this end, let's blow that bit of polystyrene, this end is the machine end. It doesn't swivel at the machine end, but it connects up to the cleaner and there is, as you can see, there is a little plug there which connects up to a socket to provide the power. They haven't really changed this handle in a long time. In fact, I've got um, some very early SIBO cylinders, C1 machines that have really more or less the same handle, so they've not really improved it. It's still got the external sort of pigtail connector. Now we've just got a slide control so on zero it's off and as you move it forward it turns the machine on and ups the power to the maximum which is 700 watts. I've no idea what the suction power is like with a 700 watt motor but I'm sure combined with the very good power head this machine will clean carpets very very well. This is the telescopic tube, it's half plastic half metal I think it's chrome, I'm not sure. There's a little control there so we can adjust the height to suit the height of the person using the vacuum or the whatever you're cleaning. If you want to reach up high, you want to extend it further. And as you can see, the lead that powers the head is on the external part of the lower tube when you pull it out. As you push it back in, it goes inside the plastic part of the tube. I'm not that keen on this design, but anyway, it seems to work. It's worked with all the other SIBO vacuums with power heads that I've used. And similar to Miele, they do have a nice click push fitting. There's a little lever here. So everything locks in together very well. So we can just lock the tube into the hose into the tube, into the handle, sorry, and it just clicks into place. It stays firm until you press on there and remove it. I've just focused in a bit closer on the box so I can see for my own reference where all these polystyrene parts went in case I need to repack it. 
but I think this is a machine that's not going to be demoed and then packed away. I believe it will be one that I will use. I love my D4 Premium but it is rather large. This for me is a good compromise because it incorporates the same power head as the D4 Premium but a much smaller body, uh, much more compact and easy to handle. Let's just take that piece of polystyrene out and we get the Sebo Combi. I'm rather surprised it's the Combi head. I don't know why they didn't really provide a Parquet head because I don't know. I suppose maybe some carpets you wouldn't want to use the power nozzle on perhaps. Perhaps you've got delicate rugs that uh, you don't want to use the vigorous brushing action. Of course you can buy any number of optional tools for this machine. I believe, which is a little bit silly, I, I don't think this comes with a dusting brush, although it might, so I'm not sure. You'd think it's the top of the range model, you'd think it would. But anyway, so this is the Sebo Combi. It's quite a heavy nozzle, but it just ooh, it oozes quality. I've unboxed many, many vacuums and many cheap Chinese-made vacuum cleaners that do not feel anything like this. I'm savouring the quality in my hand at the moment. Obviously they cost a lot more but you get what you pay for and it will you'll be rewarded in the long run with a with a more durable reliable appliance. So this is for carpets and hard floors. You can actually it's a funny funny way of using that you, you actually have to knock the side with your foot to lower the brush. It doesn't lower very far actually just comes out slightly at the back. You've got your litter pickers as part of a metal base plate. Two wheels there and two large wheels at the back. So that is your Sebo Combi made in Germany. Carpet and floor nozzle. I do like the parquet nozzle Sebo do. It's very good if you've got lots of hard floors. But then if you've got mainly hard floors Possibly I wouldn't go for this. This is discontinued unfortunately in the UK. So if you want one, I suggest if you can find somewhere that sells it, there are a couple of online, just search Sebo K3 Premium Eco, you'll find retailers, online retailers that still have it. But this is more or less being phased out in favour of the E3 Premium, which is the newer version. I hope to get one of those at some point, but I, I did want this because I knew it was discontinued. Okay, I think the cleaner has to come out before the power head. It doesn't look like there is the dusting brush. There are two other tools which I'll show you but they're actually on board. Whoops a daisy. That didn't go very well at all. Let's just move that. I didn't, I didn't see how that went in either but anyway. I always find with Sebo's, the polystyrene's always broken. Every Sebo vacuum I've opened has had broken polystyrene. Oh, here's the instruction book right underneath the cleaner. So that's it. Get one spare dust bag. And they do have a little cover, so once you've removed it from the machine, you can actually pop that little cover on there to keep all the dust inside before you take it to your bin. There we go, ultra bag. Pop the box to one side now. So here's the ET1. So if you have a Sebo Felix, you'll be familiar with this very, very good power head. I think it's one of the best power heads you can buy. Not many power head vacuums available in the UK. I have got a couple of VAX machines. I'm not sure whether I've featured them yet on my channel. If I haven't, they will be coming soon. The power head on those is appalling compared to this as far as quality and convenience. This is a joy, a joy to use. You've got four position height control. So setting one is the brush at its lowest setting for very short pile carpets, right up to setting four for longer pile carpets. This is a little bit awkward, the on-off button. I wish Sebo would either put the on-off switch on the handle or give it a larger pedal. It is a bit hard to push, 
quite difficult with just your socks on, you really need to wear shoes. There's a, a light that comes on when the machine, if you ac accidentally obstruct the brush, it will cut out, saving um, the belt from being damaged. It's a toothed belt, I believe. And here we have very good brush roll. I believe it's the same brush roll you get with the uprights, the X-Series uprights. There's a little port here, little access port. If you get a blockage, and if you need to clean the brush, if you've got long-haired dogs, long-haired people in the house, similar to the uprights where they have um, an easy to remove brush roll, we just press this button here. I can remember, then the end cap comes off and then we can just pull out that. You can give that a good clean. You can remove any hairs, any fibers that have caught on the brush. Keep the brush clean and then you'll get optimum efficiency, optimum performance. When the brush is out, you can also clean that out. And it just pops back in. No tools, as you can see, I've done that without needing to look for a screwdriver. This is what I love about SIBO vacuums above Miele. I like Miele vacuums too, but as far as maintaining Miele vacuums and changing brush rolls and things, they're a nightmare, some of them. SIBO make it easy for you. That's the uh, middle caster or middle wheel that moves up and down according to the height setting. The actual wattage, let's see, this hasn't changed. It's still 175 watts. So it's a 700 watt motor to provide the suction and then 175 watt motor in here that provides the brushing action. So this, as I said, it's motorized. It's not air powered, which means it will always maintain the performance, it will always rotate at the same speed no matter what setting you have the machine on, if you have it on lower suction setting, which you probably find you won't need it on maximum. It doesn't matter because the brush roll with the independent motor will still rotate. So here we go, here is the cleaner. As I say, it's an old design and I wouldn't be surprised, you can still get, there's a couple of K3 model, not K3, K series models that SIBO still have at the moment which are straight suction it's just this top model with the power head that they phased out in the UK if you don't want a power head you can pick up the base model of this for about 150 or less sometimes a bit less than that maybe 120 if you're lucky so we've got two onboard tools what I like, again, what I like about SIBO is you get a full-sized crevice tool. Unlike many cleaners, Milo included, which have very small tools in order for them to fit inside the machine or on the little storage um, accessory thing you get with some cleaners that fits on the hose. This is like your full-sized one. That actually fits inside this little hole here at the back pushes in there like that. The other tool, so I can confirm you don't get the dusting brush with this model, which is a shame. You'd think the top model would have come with one. Now I like this in one way. This is your all-purpose sort of nozzle, your curtains, your upholstery, you can do your stairs with it. But in order to use that, if you look at the shape of it, it won't actually fit onto the tube or the handle without having to fit it first to the crevice tool, so the crevice tool goes on like that. Now, in a way it's a nice design because the crevice tool gives you a bit of extra sort of reach. It means if you're doing your upholstery, you can attach the handle and you're not sort of bending, you don't have to use the extension wand, but it is a bit of a faff doing that. It's just a, a niggle. They've eliminated that with the E-Series, I believe. You don't have to do that. So, that is your two onboard tools. Let's clip that on. Whoops, there we go. Clip that in place. This is your on off switch. It doesn't move. On lower end models, it will rotate to adjust the suction. This just turns mains on and off. When you do turn it on, a green, I believe it's green, light illuminates. It is a while since I had a K series. Um, under here is the exhaust filter and I don't think they're washable. If 
think they're replaceable but non-washable. That's that's quite stiff because it is obviously it's brand new. It's going to have it does have a handle for pulling out. There we go. So that's your exhaust filter. The actual air exhaust comes out of the machine through this air belt system that goes all the way round. It doesn't actually blow out all the way round, but there are holes sort of near the front end either side that the exhaust air vents out of. Has advantages because it diffuses the exhaust air, unlike a Miele where you have a hot blast of air coming from the top, this machine diffuses it nicely, but also has the other advantage this is uh, like a sort of a lycra material, but under that is a spongy material. So if you're a little bit heavy handed when you're pulling your vacuum along and you're banging into things, the air belt protects your furniture and the cleaner. So the, the air is filtered before it gets to the air belt. This is the exhaust filter. There is a, a pre-motor filter as well, which I'll show you in a minute when I show you the dust bag. So that fits under there. It's just the plastic quality. Again, I like Miele cleaners, they're very good machines, but in my experience of handling many, many vacuums, I find the plastic of SIBO cleaners to be far superior to the Miele cleaners. It's a, a dinky little vacuum. One thing though, because the hose inlet is to one side for some reason, I think it's got something to do with the crevice tool, they've always done this, even with their C-series, um, they've been sort of offset. Uh, it does tend to, when you're pulling it along, it does tend to sort of move to one side. With the new E series, it comes out the middle at the front, so that should eliminate that. So, SIBO have obviously redesigned the E series and, and thought, right, what little niggles have we got with the K series? How can we improve the K series? And they came up with the E series. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, at some point, I will get an E series SIBO. It's a parking bracket at the back. It's not for the ET1 powerhead because that will stand up on its own when it's in the upright position, but it is useful for parking if you're using the combi head or if you're using the optional parquet head. Hang on a minute. Oh, it goes that way. There we, there we go. Trying to put it on the wrong way. There we go. It goes on that way. You've got two sort of rubberized feet here, which enable the machine to be more stable on its end. That's useful when you're cleaning the stairs. Of course in my demo I'll show you it cleaning the stairs. And you have a pull-pull cord rewind. So you pull out the cord and it will lock into place whatever stage you stop at. It will lock. There's no button. On the E-series there is a button. On the K-series you just have to give the cord a little tug and it rewinds into the machine. Right, where is the bag? Because normally a vacuum cleaner of this sort of style you'd, you'd be able to access the bag from the top but SIBO, being a bit different, you access the bag from underneath. Similar to the, their C-series cylinders but again the E-series you access the bag from the top so it's more conventional. You've got another parking or storage slot, three wheels and this is the bag door. It's a little catch here and then the bag door, you can take the bag door completely off revealing the dust bag and that just pulls out. Again you pop the cover on dispose of that and a slot in a new bag and under the bag oh, it's just a standard filter that's your pre-motor you can actually buy a, a more upgraded filter I believe it's red but um, so that probably would if you've got allergies I think it was it a C rating let me have a look I think it's a C I mean that's still pretty good most people wouldn't be concerned it's a C rating I believe if you were to fit um, the red filter, it'll possibly give you a B rating or an A, I'm not really sure. But it's only if you're very, very sensitive to dust you might need to upgrade the filter. Most people, I would have thought, it, would, it still produces clean, very, very, very clean air. If you don't put the bag in correctly, similar to many cleaners, where have I put the bag door? Here it is. If I try and use it bagless, and why would you? But if you would try to use it bagless, 
won't let you close the bag door. You could try forcing it, but I wouldn't. You have to put the bag in. There are two arrows at the top of the bag. You just need to slot, slot the bag in, arrow for first, until it sort of doesn't actually click, until it's located right into the collar that holds it. Make sure it's not trapped, and we can close the door. And if it clicks, nice solid. There we go. That's the bag fitted. Right, before I end the video, we'll just turn it on. I'll judge the suction power. I've never had a 700 watt SIBO vacuum. As I said, my earlier version of this was an 1800 watt. The latest version was uh, 1000, no, 2100 watts, 2100 watts. But I think I'll find me using this vacuum quite a lot because it gives me the convenience of a cylinder for my above floor but the deep down carpet cleaning of an upright and it's just in a much more compact and lightweight body than my D model which is more suited for a larger home. If you want to see my review of the SIBO D series I will pop a link below this video but that version I tested was the old high wattage version. They've got, of course now got eco versions of that as well. But I wouldn't have thought there'd be a huge difference in the performance. The suction might be slightly less. Okay, the hose just plugs in and clicks nicely into position. It's all lovely, very solid. Okie dokie, I'll plug it in and uh, we'll see how quiet it is. I've plugged the machine in but it's not actually switched on at this switch here so if I press this providing it's off at the hand control it won't turn on but what does happen we have a green mains on light so that's just telling you that it's plugged in. Now I can actually control the machine using the controls on the handle it does actually have a blockage indicator. I'll show you that while I've got it focused on this. This will turn to amber when the bag needs checking or if you've got a blockage. So there's the handle. We can just turn it on by sliding the control to the front. From memory, yes, it does feel less, has less suction power than my 1800 watts and I expect it's, it is less suction power than my D4 Premium. But when you combine the suction with the ET1 Powerhead, you're still going to get exceptional results. And for above floor cleaning, you don't need a lot of suction power, especially for curtains. Um, upholstery doesn't need the full force of the suction either. So all in all, well it's what I expected, it's a lovely quality German made vacuum cleaner. We'll give the power head a little go, but stay tuned because I will be doing a full demonstration of this SIBO Airbelt K3 Premium Eco on my channel very soon. So as you can see, the power head will stand up on its own when it's in the upright position. We've got a little orange release lever at the back to lower it for use. But one thing I love about this power head, it's very, very flexible, but it goes under low furniture very easily, far better than the Vax power head machines I've tried. You can just go straight flat to floor. You can just go like that and get under your furniture. But of course I'll be demonstrating all that in my full review. Okay, I'll just give it a quick go.
it's almost effortless. In fact, you, the power head practically pulls itself along. You do, need, you do need slightly more effort when you're pulling the power head back, but in the forward motion, you can really feel it pulling itself. It's an exceptional vacuum cleaner. Um, buy one if you can't wait to see my review and you want one of these I, I, I highly recommend it as I said I've had the earlier model with the inferior power head this has got the much better power head although I was able to use the power head of my SIBO Felix with it so I do know how it performs with the ET1 all in all SIBO make fantastic vacuum cleaners guaranteed for five years parts and labor and quality made in Germany Thanks for watching. If you like this review, please subscribe and you'll be updated when I upload the demo of this and, of course, many other vacuum cleaners, floor care appliances, carpet washers, etc. So, until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.